Hello there guys, Billabo10000 here, bringing you Minecraft, uh, a mini CTM map known as, uh, I believe it is called, The Supposed Golden Path. Click below for a book, your objective, for the map rules, and for the map info. Let's read it all. Your objective, find the wall blocks in dungeons. Find the wall monument and complete it. Follow the map rules. Wall blocks are found in special chests made of note blocks and stained glass. The monument is at the end of the map. Use any difficulty except peaceful and stay in survival. Don't use commands. You may break any block that you see. Don't use any mods which give you an unfair advantage. Don't craft or die wall blocks for the wall monument. Stay in the overworld. Don't trade with bread villagers. Stay within the map boundaries. Don't go on the map ceiling. Don't break or place ender chests. Only use pre-placed ones and have fun. Welcome to this mini CTM map by Crows. It was created in February the 16th for the 9th CTM Jam compilation. It is inspired by a Chemical Brothers song called The Golden Path. This map was created for 1.9 and should only be played in 1.9+. If you made a mistake, load a fresh copy of this map in 1.9. I hope you enjoy your time playing this map. Any feedback left here is very welcome. And before we continue, I'd just like to give a quick shout out to Electric Hamster, who recommended that I play this map. You can find her channel in the description and I will flash her icon on screen now, which you'll be able to click at the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching. Not thanks so much for watching, what am I saying? Let's get started. Welcome to a mini CTM map by Crows. Confused and wandering, you decide to walk along the supposed golden path. Do I? This map is intended to be played in 1.9. Okay, let me just quickly get the controls set up. That needs to be that. And we need to just get straight into it. So I'm going to head over here. Oh god, there are enemies. Oh, that's not good. That is really bad. Okay. So we've started the, the map. We've got a lot of bread here. Some nice stuff here. Uh, we have nothing that we can fight with, which is a slight problem. So I'm just going to hightail it up here. And I know basically the first few minutes of this map due to watching uh, a few episodes of Electric Hamstar's uh, playthrough before I decided to pick up the map myself because I'd been looking at it for a while, but I wasn't particularly sure. Uh, and I was convinced when I was recommended to play it. So I'm not going to take a shield simply because I don't like how shields work. I just dislike them 100%. They are probably my least favorite thing about Minecraft at the moment. Uh, I'll put the seeds back in here. The wheat I can use to create uh, what I need. Bread, I will take the bread. I will leave the... I'll put the golden apple here. I'll take the apples, collect the wheat. Uh, announcement by Explorer General. My friends, the time has come. We are losing this fight and have been for over a year. It is time for us to leave this place of refuge. You do not think this as an act of cowardice. To live on, we shall have to relocate. So pack up what you can, but make haste. We must not tarry here too long. Explorer Scout Andrews reports a mass horde of monsters approaching. Be strong, my friends. We shall have the last laugh. With us, we shall haul our free essences. We shall deploy them if we must as a final stand. Let us pray that it does not come to that. Keep it together. This is a moment to be proud of in years to come. So the three essences I assume are going to be our monument items, the wall that we're going to be collecting. That's sort of what I've got. We've got a lot of gravel here, which we could use to make arrows. We also have fuel for torches. We have ladders, which is insinuating there's a good chance that we're going to fall down somewhere. You've got to learn these sorts of ticks. And I, I've been playing a lot of maps recently, so I have a, a slight uh, noticeable noticing no notice for these ticks i'm gonna put a bunch of stuff in here i'm gonna put the ender chest i'm gonna put the sticks in there uh i can only sleep at night so i can't sleep right now uh, i would have loved to because that would have been cool hello uh timid i hear those zombies timid twin at emerald for an explorer bow so they need emeralds for a lot of stuff uh the stone picks i can make now i can use to get a nice better pick and then we can go and deal with the zombies downstairs First things first, let's get those picks so we can get that lovely um, emerald pick. Because why would you not want an emerald pick? And I say emerald pick because I... Oh, wait, I need the sticks. I say emerald pick because I, I need... I mean the... Um, 
The two uh, stone picks equal an iron pick, which can be used to mine emeralds, which I know are big currency in this map. So let's go do that. Alright. We can deal with the zombies in a moment. Okay. So do that, and then that. There's the explorer's pick. We can also get the explorer shield. And then some different helms as well. So there's a lot of cool stuff that we could get from this map. That's pretty cool. I like that there's a very varied uh, set of armor and items and stuff that we can get. It adds a bit of... of fun here. And because it's 1.9 PvP, we have to take it slow. Like so. Alright. I feel like there's probably some emeralds in here. I saw a cake over there, so I want to get that. I just want to make sure this room is nice and lit up so we don't have any more mob spawns. Because I feel like that could become very annoying. I want to check that gravel as well. Because if I remember from what I saw, underneath the gravel is actually something we need. Because this isn't wood, these are bookshelves. Yep, there's an enchantment table. You can't really use it per se at the moment, and I I dare say it's a bit early to be using one. Uh, let me just dig this whole bit up. Ah, uh, some glowstone there as well, even better. And we have an enchantment notice and two lapis lazuli. Now, I'm not going to touch the lapis. I'm just going to read the enchantment notice. This enchantment station is no longer operable. We have run out of blue magic and the mushroom mines are too far away for resupply. I have been ordered to bury the, l the tech, lest the monsters use it. P.S. I left two crystals of blue magic, just in case Witchy Woo gets here after we're done. I think of every day my warty witchy wonder. Signed, Lieutenant Grippins. Okay, so he's got a, a, a BFF girlfriend called the Witchy Woo, the, his, his witch girl. Oh, we got some iron. I think we must have got that as a drop. That's pretty cool. Okay. I don't think there are any more em I don't think there are any emeralds in here, although I, I highly wish there were. Uh, but we still have more of this, which we can... I don't think we need to farm at the moment. I think we need to head back out into the world and see if we can experience the supposed golden path. Is there anything particular that we need to do before that? Nothing that I can tell. Oh, I heard a spider. Where did I hear the spider? Speederman? Where are you? Oh yeah, I forgot to look down. Shit, okay. Uh, and we got the beet root, which I guess it beats things. Oh, I want to get in. I want to get inside, and I want to. I want to sleep first. That way, I can at least set my spawn in this lovely location, and then we can get straight into the battles. We're at seven minutes into this episode that I like to call a CTM map. <laughs> All right, we can sleep. Brilliant. I'm gonna also dig underneath that little pillar that I just saw outside because I feel like that's an optimal place to hide something. And then after that, we're going to head into the main sort of like golden path dungeon thingy Madu hicker that, you know, it wants us to head into. All right, let me just... Okay, so there's nothing evil there. No evil intentions, no malcontent. I do hear a spider really close by. But I have no idea where it is. Perhaps it's a, a fun box, maybe? Not a fun box. That's not the right terminology. I meant to say perhaps there's um, a honeypot underneath the map where the spider spawns. But, you know, I'm just going to ignore it and I'm going to head off this way. And we're just going to see what happens. There is a chest over here which probably has something in it that I could probably use. But uh, first things first, let's kill this guy. There we go. Four hits, that's pretty good. Okay, so we've got the Morbid Dagger, which we have a Spectral Blade here. So these are two completely different types of attacks. We've got Sharpness 2 and Breaking 1, and then Fire Aspect and Smite. Now, Smite is good for skeletons and zombies, so that could be very helpful at the moment. Let's... 
See if we can get it. Okay, so I can see a spawner right there. Okay, let me see. I don't have my Optifine, so I can't zoom in to see what type of spawner it is. So we're just going to have to activate it. It's a spider spawner. Okay, I can deal with that. I mean, spiders naturally have less health than zombies, so this should be okay. But this new way of fighting is not optimal for me. I do not enjoy it. If, if that makes any sense, I just dislike the new way of fighting. It is awful. Um, I understand that a lot of people like 1.9 combat. I'm just not one of those people, and I don't think I ever will be. Alright, let's break you. Okay... I see an emerald there, which I might like. I also see a lot of enemies here, so I'd like to take them out too. Am I using the right... I'm using the right one, yeah. Because it's setting them on fire, so it has to be the right one. Okay, okay. Oh god, I'm almost dead. Wow. Okay, these guys hit hard. That's not good. I also see a bed over there, I think. So that's good. There's also a custom mob over there, I'm pretty sure. Uh, is that like one of the new ones? Like the, was it like the Wraith or something I think they're called? I, I don't know what their ac their official name is, but I know that they're like new. We also have a, uh, a skeleton with green boots on. Alright, skeleton looking fashionably fabulous. Oh my goodness. Darling, that is fabulous. Alright, let's see if we can deal with these creepers. Uh, I think sharpness would probably be best for them. And if possible... Oh, I can't block with the, the sword anymore. Okay, no wonder it wants me to have a shield. Okay. Yep, wanted that to happen. It's always good to just let the creepers blow things up. It's better than you dealing with it yourself. Okay, let me just quickly... Boop, boop, boop. Okay. There we go. Knock you down. Now I can get rid of you before you become a problem. You're already a problem, so you need to die. It's it's great. We're having fun times. We're just getting to know each other, me in this world, and it's great. So I'm going to collect some more emeralds. I also noticed that my sword is almost dead. That's not good. Uh, but we can use these emeralds to trade for like armor and stuff, I think, back in the... Uh, back with those villagers. So we've got to keep that in mind. I'm also running through bread really quickly, jeez. Why couldn't this be 1.11 or 1.12? You know, the, the ones where the, the hunger is actually fixed. <laughs> okay. Let's keep on moving. Alright, we wanna... Are these little bread zo- Those are bread zombies, right. Okay, Dark Explorer Cadet. They're all cadets, I believe. So let's take them out. Alright. Uh, I don't think I want to get their custom drops. Uh, if it's just food, I think we'll be fine. Uh, if it's anything else, then damn, I'm going to be very annoyed when I realize, oh no, I wanted those custom drops so much, but I think we'll be okay. Let's collect that emerald. There's also this over here we could take a look at. I think we got all the spawners in that little bit. I know there's a lot of stuff over there. I mean, that looks like a pretty dangerous little spongy mess, so I don't really want to go over there just yet. Uh, but, uh, stepping onto the gold pressure plate inside of a checkpoint will set your spawn. Okay, let's do that. Checkpoint one of four. Okay, so... There are checkpoints. That is good to know. Uh, let's just dump away the stuff that we really don't need. And then we can come back and kind of, like, collect some of the stuff later. Uh, ooh, okay, I quite like this bow breaker. I also like the chain leggings. Arrows of slowness, that's interesting. Uh, I'll take the bread. I'll leave the torches, because I don't want to go yet. I also want to go back and trade with those villagers when I can. I'm hoping that there may be TPs back here, so that we're able to come back and, and trade with the villagers and stuff. That would be pretty cool. I, I think that would be a really interesting mechanic, if we are able to return. Oh no. Thank you. Oh, no. Where did the shield come from? I don't remember where the... Oh, wait, did... were there shields in the... Were there shields in that one box? I feel like there were shields in that one box. God damn it. Oh, no, those are silverfish. Uh, I don't want to deal with silverfish right now, honestly. Okay, that broke that. I don't want to hit them, because if they're a silverfish, it means that all the blocks are probably silverfish, which is something I don't want to deal with. Nope. 
Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna run through. Uh, there's something mysterious here. I'm not gonna lie, I already know about this mysterious thing. <laughs> uh... There is a chest there. There is a creeper up there. I wanna kill that creeper. I don't wanna- because I'm gonna be going up there in a moment, so... Oh, wow. My aim is really off. Either that or 1.9 bow shooting is a lot different than I, I remember. Oh, of course, arrows would be different because they have like the new, uh, they have the new bow arrow types. So of course, shooting the bow would be slightly more different to 1.8. Interesting. Let's climb up here. I'm gonna get up here, collect whatever's in this block, box, whatever. Uh, collect my arrows back up. Just get whatever was up here sorted out. Uh, collect that chest that was down there, head back and trade what we can with the villagers, and I'll be ending off the episode there, because we are at about the 14 and a half to 15 minute mark, and that's always a good point, I believe, uh, to end off an episode. So, okay, let's collect you. Special item. Lingering strength, whack em hatchet, gold apple, some stone, and you know what, I'm gonna take the lily pad. I'll take it. I quite like the lily pad. Uh, do I want to take the coal? I might take a bit of coal. It might, it might be helpful. You never know. Some coal would be nice. Maybe not all the coal, but just enough. Yeah, I quite like it. Some good coal. Awesome. Uh, emerald there. Any more emeralds around this top part, or no? I guess we're leaping back into the water. Right, let's get out across here. Let us see if we can cross our way back over to that chest. We can make this jump. Yep. Knew it. Okay. Water boots. Protection to Depth Strider. Oh, Depth Strider just makes you faster in general in water, so that's definitely very helpful. Ambush Creepers. Uh-oh. So are these made with the intent of ambushing me? If so, I will defeat them. Or I will let them blow up. One of the two. Whee! Oh no! Oh, they are everywhere! Oh, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. This- Oh, I see. There were spawners. There were spawners, and they just didn't appear until I came back through that area. That is clever. That is very cleverly done. That means that nowhere is safe. <laughs> okay, let's head back over here. If I can, I want to go to that cake and just fill up my hunger there. That way I don't have to spend uh, my, my bread or my apples. Okay, I think I'm safe from the attack creepers. <laughs> oh no. This map features traps, be on the lookout. Oh my cake! I wanted the cake, god damn it. Ah. All right, back up here. Let's see what we can trade for the, uh, the weapons and armor. Uh, let's collect our emeralds. And let's go in and see what it wants from us. Uh, firstly, uh, okay, you are being annoying. Okay, so, the shield is eight oak wood planks and an emerald, although I'm sure any wood would probably be okay. No, it has to be oak, okay. Uh, explore a helm. Okay. Explore a sword, a stone sword, and four gems creates that, which I actually like the look of, so I'm gonna pop that on. Uh, nothing else, so could I get this? No, I wouldn't want this anyway, would I? Um... No? I'm guessing it has to be, uh, full armor then, I guess. Uh, bow would be six arrows and you, so I'll get you the explorer's bow, which is better than this one. Uh, I'll leave the arrow repertoire alone. I don't particularly need it. Uh, I'm gonna go collect some of the armor from these chests that was uh, full on durability, because that might be tradable, I assume. And then I want to just quickly collect some of that wood so that I can get the, uh, the shield. Because I quite like the idea of that really cool looking shield. And that's two of these woods. And yes, I just got the achievement for getting woods. That's uh, pretty awesome. So let's get that sorted out. Let's head back up here. And let's go buy the stuff we want to buy. So I want to get the shield first. Because I guess if I'm going to be doing 1.9, I guess I'm going to need a shield. <sighs> as much as I want to avoid it. 
We have a shield. Okay, let's see. Will this work? This works. So it had to be full durability in order to work. That makes sense. You know what? I'm fine with that. Uh, and you know what? I'll get this as well. All right. I think I'm pretty set. Uh, let's take this off. Put this on. Oh, and it makes me faster as well. I could already see just from the, the FOV changing. Uh, that's pretty cool. So I'm going to put this away. I'm going to put this away. This way, 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 this way. This is going to go in my hotbar. This goes away. This will go away. This will go away. This can go away, and I'll take out the golden apples. Uh, this cobblestone can go away. Uh, I think we're pretty set. Uh, I might keep the emerald with me just in case, and I might keep the potion of healing just in case. The lily pad can go away. Uh, that can go away. Uh, I think I'm done. Uh, I'm gonna go to sleep, and with that, I'm pretty happy, uh, with my progress in this episode, so I'm gonna head back to checkpoint one, and we're gonna end it off, you know what, we'll just end it off here, in a way. So, uh, if you're enjoying the series so far, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Go check out Electric Hamstar for suggesting this map to me. You can click her link in the screen now, as well as my subscription link if you want to subscribe to my channel. And you can also check out the last CTM map I did, which was Remote District 1. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.